Hi there, I'm Brandon from Basic Wisdom. Today we'll take a look at a convertible bond question. All right, let's go ahead and get the question on the board. So, we uh, have a longer convertible bond question, but this is a fairly common convertible bond question. There's a lot of information here, definitely. Uh, 8%, $1,000 par, convertible 25, callable 103, trading at 102, common stocks trading at 2450. With, with this question and a lot of comparable type questions like this, there's a lot of noise, meaning that there's a lot of information in this question that we're just not going to use, and they just put it in there to confuse us. Now, before we get to the numbers, and I, and I find that this is very important for any type of question like this, we need to figure out what the intent of the question is. I don't want us to go down a path where we start calculating numbers that don't make sense or start looking at numbers that aren't important. Let's figure out what the crux of this question is. Well, if I'm looking at the second half of the last sentence, at what market price of the common stock would an arbitrage opportunity exist? The key word there is arbitrage. You'll see that a lot with these convertible bond questions and you'll see them with other financial type questions. For something like this, we do not need to know a ton about arbitrage. There's a lot out there. If you want to see it, just do a Google search for arbitrage and you'll find a lot of papers, a lot of, a lot of talk about algorithms and computers. F forget that stuff for now. So let's talk about like how this works. Let's imagine that we're, we're talking about uh, Coca-Cola stock. Let's say that Coca-Cola stock is traded on two separate exchanges. And let's, let's just make it easy. Exchange A and Exchange B. Exchange A is trading Coca-Cola stock for $40 a share. Exchange B is trading it for $41 a share. Now, of course, we can, we can both see that there's a price inefficiency there. There's something wrong. One market thinks it's cheaper than the other. The other thinks it's more expensive. Well, if we wanted to make a profit off of this, what would we do? Well, we'd go to Exchange A and we'd buy shares in Exchange A and we would instantaneously sell shares technically short, and if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it for this question, but technically short sell, or just another way of saying sell, shares in Exchange B. And every time we do that, we make a $1 profit. That's arbitrage. Just a quick, instantaneous way of making a profit. So this question is going to have a little bit of a different approach and perspective. We're not talking about an inefficiency between two different exchanges. We're really looking at whether or not we can buy a convertible bond, convert that bond into shares, and then sell those shares immediately and make a profit. To get there, we need to understand what a convertible bond is. A convertible bond is just a regular bond that has an additional feature attached to it. Now, I'll get to that feature in a second, but let's just look at how it's a regular bond. 8%, $1,000 par. Whoever holds this bond is going to get paid $80 a year, and that $80 is from the 8% of 1,000. Bonds pay whatever, whatever their nominal interest rate is, which is 8%, based upon their par value, which is 1,000. So whoever holds it gets paid $80 every single year until the bond matures. It's not important for this question, but it's just a regular bond. If we get to the second sentence, they are convertible 25 and callable 103. This kind of gets to the additional feature. What additional feature do convertible bonds have that non-convertible bonds don't have? Well, convertible bonds can convert themselves into shares of stock of the same company. So a convertible bond starts off as a debt instrument, meaning they're borrowing money from the public and they pay that money back but it does have the ability of eventually turning into shares, the bondholder or the investor has that choice. It is not the choice of the issuer or the company, it is the choice of the investor whether or not they convert it into shares. Okay. Uh, now let's look at that second sentence. They are convertible at 25 and callable at 103. There are a ton of questions out there that might focus somewhat on the bond being callable, but for arbitrage, that does not come into play for this question. So the fact that the bond is callable and even callable at 103, we fill that information out. We don't use that. But there is one important piece of information here, and it's the fact that the bond is convertible at $25. Now, on the surface, they have just given us something known as conversion price. And conversion price really doesn't tell us much right away. But the conversion price will lead us down a path of finding additional information that's very important to us. We need to know, for any convertible bond question where they talk about profit or they talk about converting, 
the most important thing to know is the conversion ratio. The conversion ratio will tell you how many shares of stock you get if you do a convert your bond. And that's a big deal. It's a, you know, if I get 10 shares when I convert versus if I get 40 shares if I convert, that's a big difference. And that can amount to a significantly different approach to a question like this. Now they've given us the conversion price. We need to get the conversion ratio. The formula for conversion ratio is par over your conversion price. And we have both figures. They gave us $1,000 par in the beginning, which, by the way, they didn't, they didn't have to give us that. We can safely assume with any question that $1,000 is the par value unless they tell us otherwise. But $1,000 over 25 will give us the conversion ratio. Once we crunch the numbers, we'll find very quickly that this bond, when it's converted, converts into 40 shares of common stock. Now, that doesn't, that doesn't solve the question for us. We have to go down to the last sentence and figure out what they're asking us there. If the bond is currently trading at 102 and the common stock is trading at 2450, at what market price of the common stock would an arbitrage opportunity exist? Well, let's think about it. They're giving us the information, but that 2450 is not important for this question. Another piece of useless information. The bond is currently trading at 102. That is very important for us. And let's talk about why. I would buy the bond for 102, another way of saying $1,020 in bond terms. I buy it for 1,020, and if I convert it, I get 40 shares of stock. So if I, if I just do some quick math, if I put 1,020 over 40, if I buy the bond and just convert into shares of stock, it's like I'm paying 2550 per share. I end up with 40 shares of stock, I paid 1,020 overall to get those shares of stock, now, I get that number and I get excited because I look down at the answers and 2550 is right there. C, right? It's got to be the right answer. It's not. C is not the right answer. Don't fall into that trap. If I choose C, what I'm doing is I'm breaking even. Meaning, if I buy the bond for 1020 and I convert into 40 shares of stock and then I sell those shares of stock for 2550, I am breaking completely even. There's no profit. There's no loss. I'm back to zero. That's it. And that is not the focus of this question. They want us to find where is the instantaneous profit. Well, if I go right below that and look at D, $26 a share, hmm, there could be a profit there. If I buy my bond for $1,020 and I convert it into 40 shares of stock, I'm really paying $25.50 per share. If I'm able to turn around and immediately sell those shares for $26 a share, I just made a profit of $0.50 cents per share. Or if we're talking about 40 shares in general, I just made a profit of 20 bucks. That is arbitrage. For this question, our answer is D. If the common stock is trading for $26 a share, and I can buy my convertible bond for 1,020 that converts into 40 shares of stock, I can realize an instantaneous profit by buying the bond, converting right away, and then selling the shares out in the open market immediately. Now, there are a lot of mechanics that go into performing that trade and realizing that profit, but for this question, it's not important. $26 a share is where the price of the common stock needs to be for us to see arbitrage. I hope this video helps with the convertible bond questions you'll see down the road. Please subscribe to this channel, check out the links and resources below. Thank you, and I'll see you again.